Have you ever wanted to explore another world? To be able to visualise things beyond our range of vision. With a thermal camera, you can explore the wonderful world of infrared. Thermal cameras used to be incredibly expensive. I once paid £34,500 for one. But the thermal camera we're going to look at today costs less than 1% of that. This is the Top Don TC View TC001. This tiny thermal camera turns your smartphone or tablet into a powerful thermal imaging device. Thermal cameras work by measuring infrared radiation. Infrared is a type of electromagnetic radiation with wavelengths in between those of microwaves and visible light. The hotter something is, the more infrared radiation it gives off. And a thermal camera contains something called a close couple device which detects this infrared radiation and turns it into a visual image that we can see. The top down thermal camera I'm going to look at today is tiny. It's only 70mm long, 33mm wide and 12mm thick. It's got a USB-C connector which simply pushes into the bottom of your phone. And as you can see here it will fit even if you've got a case on your phone. When you insert the camera it automatically starts up the software so you can see you can be up and running in seconds. This is the Android version of the camera which also works on Windows PCs using a USB-C cable. Top Dun also produce an iOS version for use on iPads and iPhones. So let's open up the box and see what's inside. First thing you see is the carry case. It's a semi-rigid zip case. We'll have a look at that in more detail in a minute. And then we've got the instructions. These are little more than a quick start guide because the full manual is on the app. The protective case appears to be very good quality. It's got a zip around three sides. It's made of fabric and inside. And cased in foam, you've got the camera itself. And in the other half of the shell, and held in place by a mesh, we've got a microfiber cleaning cloth for the lens and a USB cable. The camera weighs only 30 grams, so it's very portable. And it's very versatile, being able to measure temperatures between minus 20 and 550 degrees C. One key feature of this camera compared to similarly priced alternatives is the resolution. The Top Don camera has a resolution of 256 by 192 pixels. So you can expect to obtain much clearer images than you would with cameras with a lower pixel count. This video clip shows just how sensitive this camera is. Look at the nostrils as he breathes in and out. The image goes dark as he inhales cool air and bright as he exhales warmer air. This camera is also sensitive enough to pick up footprints. Watch the trail of paw prints as the cat walks. You can find the Top Done app in the Google Play Store. It's very straightforward and this is where you'll find the manual which is well written and contains lots of useful info. And as you'd expect from a high quality piece of equipment like this, you can change settings such as the ambient temperature, the emissivity and the distance to the target. There's also the option to change the units to Fahrenheit if you don't like SI units. You can measure temperature at points, in a plane or in a line. And you can do this analysis both while you're recording or in your historical images which you can find in your gallery. This is my gallery so I'm going to select a an image of a water butt. You can see from the thermal image that the butt is virtually full. But to make it more visually appealing I'm going to change the palette that I'm using and then when we're happy with the palette I'll set up a line measurement so we can see the maximum and minimum temperature in a line along the front of the butt. Another tool you've got available is real-time temperature monitoring. This collects data over a period of time and displays it as a graph which you can then export. So to do this I'm going to set up a box and then press start recording and what will happen now is that the camera will measure the maximum and minimum temperature in that area and record it in this graph. I'll just move it down onto my knee so we should see a bigger difference between the two. You can see that the axis changes automatically when you do that and then if I stop it and go into my historical data will then be given the option of exporting the data for analysis. So what can you use this thing for apart from taking videos of the cat? One of the main uses of thermal imaging cameras that should be relevant to virtually everyone is building surveys. This is the roof of my garage, it looks okay. But when I look at it in infrared, 
You can clearly see that the beams are colder than the roof, which I'd expect because it's summer. But look at those dark patches. That far corner of the roof is significantly colder than the rest of it. So if we look closer and then change the colour palette and take line measurements, you can see there's a 5 degree difference. And then there's another area here where the pitch roof meets the flat roof. And again you can see the ceiling is significantly colder. Now that indicates to me that we've got a leak. The main part of the roof's warmed up, but because of the higher specific heat capacity of the water that's soaked into the fabric of the roof, it doesn't heat up as quickly when we get these cold spots. This is heading back into the corner again. I did have problems with the gutters in that corner of the garage. So that might have contributed to the dampness in the corner, but I'm definitely going to have to monitor that over the summer. Another use of thermal imaging camera is automotive. This is a, a diesel engine. And you can clearly see which components are getting hot as the engine warms up. This form of non-contact measurement is clearly safer than trying to take live temperature measurements of moving parts or live electrical apparatus. This is a mini fluorescent bulb, you can see how hot it is. This thermal camera was kindly supplied by Top Don for review, and I would like to thank Daisy for her patience and support. This is, however, like all my reviews, totally independent. If I think an item is not particularly good, I'll say so. Just look at my Ferrex pressure washer video, for example. But this product is actually very good. I've used thermal imaging equipment professionally when I used to work in the high temperature insulation business and I'd have no problems using this camera on site. You can get this camera either directly from Top Don or on Amazon. I'll put an Amazon link in the description below. If you found the video useful, give it a thumbs up. Any questions, leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to Big Ted's Home and Garden. I'll see you soon.